yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's She. I'm back today with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a March booth tour. I went ahead and just moved everything around. Before we get started, make sure you guys have subscribed to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. The booth that they offered me at first, look how big this is. Well, they offered it to me this long for another 185 and it would have been perfect to house all of my furniture and stuff, but I didn't want more overhead so i'm not gonna talk too much i'll go ahead and show you what's at the booth and show you how styled it so over here um i have this beachy mirror currently for 58 dollars really super cute that little um basket this would be great when i have more tabletop space in fact i may move this over to that window pane table but we'll see so this would be super cute to put like some decorative um, balls in. If you have a beach house, you could put shelves in it. It's just super cute and I think it will look really, really nice on an entryway table. Next over here, we have a pair of farmhouse chairs. So all I did to these was basically style them with like furry pillows. And it has a really, really super cute X back. And they're extra extra wide like if i had somebody to record me i would sit in it so you guys can see you can sit so comfortably in these chairs so you could use them as dining chairs or you could use them as accent chairs and they have this super super cute farmhouse print on them the pillows we're just gonna sell those for um 25 for the set and if you want to pick them up yourself you can get them from hobby lobby over here guys i have this cute little table I painted these stripes. It took forever. And this little uh, cabinet is mahogany. And it has like French words on the front with gold. So over here I put this French oval back chair. I've been really thinking about taking this pillow out of it. Because I think it was better almost without the pillow. So comment down below guys. What do you think? I think you could see the natural beauty of the chair more. So I do have a video coming up to show you guys how I created this like aged finish on it. <clears throat> For now, I'm going to put the pillow back, but you guys can help me out a lot if you would let me know. So the pillow, I just put $10 on it and then the chair, um, I put $70. Super, super cute chair. I think it would be cute at a desk. It would be cute in your powder room it'll be cute in your living room it's just it'll be cute in like a landing of a hallway with a cute little accent table behind beside it so there's so many possibilities with that and then i just tried to group things that were kind of green and brown right there with the chair so over here guys we have our shoe area i know it's super super random i can't wait to get rid of these three pair of shoes and i also can't wait to get rid of this stupid blue table if it doesn't sell soon, what I'm going to do is just paint it white and put some flowers on it. And I guarantee you, as soon as I do that, it'll be gone. But I have so many projects that I'm working on in my house right now. It has to stay here. And it works for, like, kind of layering the shoes. And then I went ahead and stenciled, like, a little crab on it. That is so cute. But it's currently being covered by this duck basket. <clears throat> So guys, um, next I have this cute little blue table. I love this table because you can put like magazines at the bottom of it. Right now I just have some rolling pins stored down there. It has a drawer. So this will be great beside a table because you could put remotes inside and all that good stuff. And I decoupage some paper from Michaels on the front of it. And then it just has like an antique kind of like wash. I think it would be cute in like a beach house or next to grandpa's favorite chair. On the back of this table, it has a hole. So it's nice because if you were to put a lamp on top of it, you could kind of feed the cord through this hole. And I have thought about doing that just so people can see how it's used. But I unfortunately don't have the space at the moment to do that. And on top, we just have some little decorative elements. And I tried to keep the blues and oranges grouped with this chest of drawers. So that way the colors can kind of bounce off each other. So you see the pictures. And then you see those books over there. And then we also have the orange and those pillows. So, and then I just wanted to keep everything 
and the lamp is like gray and blue so it kind of goes with this whole little area the colors kind of coordinate together so over here i got this cute little vintage window frame table i mean how cute is this i love this i think it's adorable and it's a nice way to keep your space feeling light and bright um because a lot of times when you have a small home if you have like a something with a solid top the light <clears throat> isn't able to bounce around your house more so i kind of like things that are glass because it keeps things open and with this table you get the best of both worlds because not only do you get solid wood but you get a vintage window and it even has a like, part of the old latch on it which is super super cool um and then it has those antique quality legs so over here guys i have a dresser that i painted i didn't do a video on this but you guys will see a video of a lingerie chest with the same flowers on it um so if you're interested in learning how to make furniture yourself make sure you check out that video it'll probably be posted before this one so yeah, just go back and um, check through like the playlist and find the video and you can make it yourself. But the thing I like about this dresser is actually Bassett. And guys, I used to work for Bassett Home Furnishings, but this is like an old Bassett piece. Like old, old, solid wood. Like the handles on it are just gorgeous. And then on top of it, I have my business cards. Aren't they so cute? It took me forever to decide on a design, so those are my cards. And then I also like to put that I decorate in stage home, so that way if anybody loves the way that I decorate it here, um, they can head over to my Instagram and check out some of the houses that I've decorated and then, you know, pick up some furniture. So on top of this, I have these two little vintage tea kettles. I think they are adorable. I love the color. Again, it has the reds and greens, just like the dresser. So I kind of try to keep things grouped together that are in the same colors. And then I have these gorgeous candlesticks, which I think are so cute because it's like, if, you and your, if your husband likes rustic and you like glam, so you got rustic and glam all in one and it's just super cute you can use these um at holiday time or if you have red decor in your house it will be great these would be really fiery and passionate in a bedroom so i think they are perfect um in any space over here guys i have these two end tables and what i did was i decided to stack them because i had lots of little chotskis and smalls that i was like you know what i need a creative way to kind of display them so this is like my beach tape, my beach tables or whatever. These would be really cute as end tables. I just kept them white and then did like an antique bronze hardware. So on top we have like this capiche shell tray, these cute little starfish wall decor, which you could put those like in a bathroom. I like to do gallery walls, so that would be really cute in that type of space. Just any room where you would need a little touch of the beach. And then these are candlesticks that me and Mackenzie made ourselves. They started out as just silver candlesticks. And we took molds that I got from Amazon and we created these beautiful flowers and leaves. And so these ones I didn't distress and make look antique. I just kept them bright white. So if you want to pick up molds so you can make your own flowers, um, head over to my Amazon. The link is down in the description. All these little plant guys are from Ikea, and I kind of regret buying them because that day I spent $45, okay, on two, look, two, whatever those are. I can't think of the name right now. This one, that one, and that little one in the chair. $45, and then I ended up going to Walmart and finding these little sprigs for 97 cents so like when i say i was really upset at myself i was upset at myself so i did record a diy video showing you guys how to make your own little like um plants and stuff so i'm gonna get that video edited because i don't want you guys to go to ikea and spend that money like i did because it, you don't have to so anyway those are my beach tables these are more little candlesticks that we made. And you recognize them from the DIY. So anyway, guys, um, this little dresser is still here. It's like a Paris themed dresser. And on top of it, we have this little tiered jewelry tray. And what I was going to do is put like jewelry on top. But 
let's be honest, everybody doesn't work on the honor system. And then this cute lamp, guys, is just fabulous. I was like, it has to go over here because it has the gold. So it kind of bounces that gold off of the dresser. And then this is just a pretty, like, quart quarter full. I don't understand. Quarter full pattern drink dispenser, which I can see this being, like, a hit at summer parties with lemonade inside. And I'm actually, like, I had some oranges and I have fake lemons and I was going to put some inside. So I actually still need to do that. So on this wall, I just have a set of two mirrors, this cute little L monogram thing. I still can't believe that this lady on Facebook, guys, zoomed in and found this tiny little crack, which to me is kind of part of the design, but because it's antique and it's age looking, you know what I mean? Like this thing is like plastic kind of, so I don't even know how it would crack. But anyway, she was like, can I pay eight dollars for it because of the crack? And I'm like, no, lady. But anyway, guys, um, just some cute floral wall art, and then I have this gorgeous mirror which has been here for a while. So what I w did was I put a coat of white paint over it just to refresh it, and I think it looks really, really cute with that welcome table. So hopefully somebody will see these two paired together and want to take both of them home. This table we took some of the molds and put them on top as well. Guys, if you can find any of this brick wallpaper, please send me the link because I really hate that I don't have enough of the paper. So trust me, I'm not doing it because I'm lazy. I'm doing it because I haven't been able to find it at Walmart again. And Kenzie's like, I told you to buy four. I'm like, okay, Mackenzie. So I have just a cake stand on top of it. And at first I wasn't going to put anything there, but this is like the perfect thing to put on top because it allows you to still see the design on the table. And this was a transfer from Amazon as well. Link in my description. So last thing I want to show you guys is this mirror. Isn't it fabulous? Fabulous. I love finding ornate mirrors like that because they sell really really well just super cute and pretty so anyway guys that is my march booth tour what i will say is that i tend to change the decor in my booth at least once or twice a week i come here um to meet customers to move things around to pick up something and make deliveries all that good kind of stuff so what you see today may it may not be like this tomorrow if you're local make sure you check me out i'm at the berry streak antique mall at 2645 dean drive in virginia beach it's not too far from lynn haven mall for those of you who are in virginia beach and if you saw something in this video that you want to buy i can ship as well so just send me a message or leave it down in the comments and we'll make it happen thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you later bye